Hello everyone at home. We have a cyclic quadrilateral right here and we have to get the value of this angle ACE. That is this angle map here. So from one of the theorems that we've used earlier, interior opposite angles are supplementary. That is when you add them together, they give you 180 degrees. So if here is 127, then this angle that we label as X will now be 180 degree minus 127. And that gives us what? 53 degrees. So this angle here is 53 degrees. So we have that line CE, this sign CE, is the diameter of the circle. So if CE is the diameter, it means the whole of this angle, that is angle CDE, will give us 90 degrees. Angle CDE equals to 90 degrees because we have angle in a semicircle. That is another theorem. So now, if the whole of this angle now is 90, and we have only this one to be 53, so if you subtract 53 degrees from 90, this angle will be what? 37 degrees. Now remember, we are trying to get this angle. So if you look at this angle, 37 degrees, and this angle that we are looking for, they are angles in the same segment. So that means angle ACE is equal to what? 37 degrees because angles in the same segment are what? Equal. How do you identify angles in the same segment? We have this chord called CD. It is from this chord that this angle here was formed. I'm sorry? We have chord AE. So it is from this chord that we form this angle 37. If you see this line, and this. Both of them are connected to this chord. And it is from them we got this angle. And then we also have this line AC and line EC which also form another angle here. So since this angle and this angle are from the same chord, that means both of them are what? Equal. We call them angles in the same segment or angles suspended by the same chord. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.